Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. So I'm doing a quick little reading for you today. Later this evening at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, I will have your normally scheduled video. Um, but I wanted to get this message out to whoever needs to hear this right now. Um, so let's just get started with this reading. So I am picking up a past position where there's a lot of restriction. Someone suffering um, with some type of mental confusion, inability to seek or get clarity, feeling stuck in a past position. The current energy though here is uh, movement forward. Someone at this time is making an effort to get away from something, distance themselves, uh, take a journey, go somewhere, try to get some distance to try to seek some clarity and um, have like a light bulb moment of understanding. But I do feel like, I mean, it's a benefit, but it is a challenge at this time for someone to try to get some clarity about a situation, get out of like why they felt stuck, why there was this mental restriction, what the heck was going on in a past position, in the past energy. Um, so let's take a look at what's driving right now. Okay. Um, I do feel like somebody wants to apologize or they feel they need to apologize to you for something. They definitely want to talk to you. Um, there is an energy, like somebody is very sweet on you. Um, but I feel like they're trying to gain clarity about a relationship and why things were so difficult in the past. Um, maybe something within themselves or something that may have occurred between you and them. Okay. So I do feel like they're, the reason for all of this, why they're seeking this clarity is because they really do have emotional loving feelings towards you. So there's separation and some type of distance presently. Um, and the reason that someone is pulled away, um, or there is no communication is because they are definitely trying to, they're like seeking some enlightenment uh, on some kind of journey. They want to talk to you. They don't know what to say. Um, maybe it's too soon. They want to initiate, but they want to be careful what they say because they want to make sure that if they have any uh, thing that they need to apologize to you about, they're seeking to make sure, like so that they can see it themselves. You know what I mean? Okay, what's, yeah, so this person has a nine of swords, so they're really stressed. Like, there is extreme mental stress at this time, and I feel like that's what they're trying to cut through. They might be having nightmares. There's this, like, ugh, like a conflict, mental conflict, going from the eight to the nine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this person, hmm. There's a little bit too, I'm hearing, maybe they're, they're doubting themselves, like maybe they shouldn't have told you they loved you, or maybe they should have said it, um, or, you know, offered an apology. There could be a little bit of regret, but we'll see if that shows up, okay? So going forward is the magician, okay? So this is very positive energy. This is like, okay, ready to manifest here, ready to start something new, um, within themselves, I feel like this is kind of levering, leveling up. And this person sort of like it's Aries energy, it could be Gemini, but it's also this person taking a leadership role and like taking accountability for whatever this struggle is, or at least their role, if they played a role in some kind of struggle. So what are they going to do? Yeah, they're definitely going to reach out. Um, communicate with you, be honest with you, be truthful, and try to clear the air, try to clear the situation. Okay, so this person, they have the Hierophant in the position of them. So they are definitely um, seeking a long term. I feel like this person either wants to be married or they want to be in a committed long term relationship. This is what their goal is going forward in September. This is what they are seeking to have with you to do things kind of like, mm, I just want to say, uh, go, go by like what's expected, like the rules and things like that. Like, I don't know if this person was very rebellious before they might've been, or just kind of a runner or not really engaging or having progression, just kind of bouncing off the walls, maybe like a pinball. And it feels like this, they're, they're position of them right now, like where they are, is they want to have that union. They want to follow the rules. Maybe even 
to some like have some kind of spiritual enlightenment to try to understand um i feel like they're just saying this person might be coming to god coming to jesus having a coming to jesus moment that kind of energy all right so you have the two of cups virgo so this feels to me like you're willing to talk or will be willing to talk to this person if you guys are in agreement with each other like in other words um, I do feel like you do have feelings for this person. You do feel like things can be healed and can work out, but they have to come to their side. And then I feel like you would be willing um, to hear them out and any changes that they've made. You would definitely be open to that, okay? Um, I do feel like you are you feel the shift, you know? You want things to change and you want the shift to happen and you want good energy to come towards you you want this you want you and them to be in a more fortunate position um i feel like you feel lucky to have met this person but something obviously happened or something went wrong where um it didn't it looks like this person departed um they're definitely on the journey of trying to figure out what they're doing okay so their biggest fear right now is that this thing is going to be completely over okay so starting with the eight of swords going to the nine of swords and then the ten of swords which is like oh my gosh i can't let this end can't let this thing with virgo and we could have a taurus um you could be dealing with you could also have some kind of connection with a leo or aquarius or a scorpio but this person's energy their biggest fear is that there will be deceit, abandonment, betrayal, that they would do that to you. They don't want that to happen. They're definitely fearing it. Um, they hope for sure that they can come to this place of complete surrender. And they hope that you will see that they're trying to do that and just, just say whatever, you know, let's try to start from scratch. You know, this is hitting rock bottom. Let's rebuild, okay? Let's dig out the foundation. Let's pour the foundation. Let's start structuring this relationship. So yeah, they really do have a fear that this is gonna be over. I don't feel like this person wants this to be over. Okay, so the outcome here is wonderful. There's the chariot, cancer energy. This is progression forward. This is like saying, I know what I want. I definitely want Virgo. We've got Taurus again, Libra energy. I definitely want, like, Virgo is the, the goddess of my soul, the, the, the king of the castle for me. And this person, I feel like progress towards you you representing the empress all that is glorif glorifying all that is beautiful all that is um, um soft and kind and sincere and you know your love for children your love um, your healing nature about you that kind of energy this person definitely i feel like will make progress going forward with the relationship um i feel like they will talk to you and try to initiate and they'll come forward first with an apology right um let me see what else other message here i think they'll come forward with like some kind of an apology to you like i'm really sorry just to try to get some conversations started virgo i don't see you being harsh with this person or anything like that i feel like you're just like for what and then i feel like they'll tell you for you know uh for leaving for keeping themselves closed off for Maybe they'll explain that they suffer from some kind of mental condition that you didn't know of, and or they might think that they do, and they're seeking help, maybe some counseling or therapy as well. Um, let's see, going into an is yeah, there you go, healing. So this person is very much in like a healing mode here, Ch uh, healing some old wounds, childhood issues. You know that might be a conversation that they tell you, you know, or something that you didn't think was true or you didn't know about okay um i feel like this person is really gonna kind of tug at your heartstrings a little bit virgo there you go there's the apology so yeah there's definitely something coming in here for you in september um let me see one more thing this person really does love you virgo you know they want a new love start um, they might have an addiction that has kept them from being able to be in a healthy relationship as well. Um, I feel like this person really does love you, Virgo. I do. And I feel like um, you two are definitely fated to be together. There is just this time apart that's happening that, and that needs to continue. 
so that clarity can come from both sides. You're being asked to be patient at this time. This relationship deserves a second chance. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope you enjoy that real short quickie. If you have a birthday today, happiest birthdays to you. And I will see you all later on this evening. Take care. Bye.